scramble drill, something we work on at practice. Um, ended up happening in the game. I seen Joe run out to the other side of the field. I just kept my eyes on Joe and ran to the other side like he did. We just go ahead. How tough was that to fall back in? Because it looked like it almost went right by his hand. Did he, did he touch it at all when it came uh, higher? I don't think he touched that at all, to be honest. It went straight through his, hand, his arms, um, just like a distraction drill, really. We just learned that Burrow's going to the hospital with a throat contusion. Do you have any idea what happened? Did you see anything? I don't know anything that was going on with Joe, honestly. Um, wish I did know, but I have no answer for that. Could he speak during the game? Yeah. yeah. Did, did you talk? Did you talk to him in, oh, after the game? Yeah. Yeah. What was that? What was that? What did, what did he tell you? What was the conversation like? Just talking about, you know, the game. Just saying how we could have got better. Um, shit, we played a hell of a game, honestly. Uh, we were just talking about, you know, we just gotta let this game go. Shit, we played our hearts out, and you gotta. Let the game go, go to the next game and went on the road. Did he worse at all or having trouble speaking? <clears throat> I don't think he was, no. We're talking about moving on, uh, I know you don't want to lose, but when you go toe to toe with a team like the Packers mm -hmm. in overtime, what positives can you take from this? Can it prove something at all? Uh, the only positive I can say we, we could take from this is just um, the effort we gave tonight, um, especially against that duo we played against tonight, you know what I'm saying? Um, can't say nothing but, you know, congratulations to to our guys for putting in that much effort. You know. Evan said he started celebrating when he thought that that second field goal he thought was good. Were you celebrating there too, or did you see the official signal? Uh, no, nah, I wasn't celebrating until I seen the rough hands up. That last catch you made, uh, Jamal, I think it was a throw up prior. Um, it was a go ball. Joe just, I'm on the same page with Joe. We, um, if he's over top, we thinking back shoulder. If be, if he, if he's behind, then we throwing it down the field. Um, it was just a back shoulder ball, and I adjusted to it really well. Zach, Zach, Zach said that was particularly, uh, that was particularly effective there. Was there anything they were doing that kind of uh, the goal ball was, was maybe effective? Any reason why? Um. Shit, I mean, we had a bunch of opportunities to take advantage of the goal ball. Um, I think I had about four downfield today. Um, one of them, DB called back up to me. He was beat. He was thinking slant. The, the other one, just a uh, hard adjustment to get to it. And, you know, the other two, I think, just like back shoulders, I caught one, and then the other one was out of bounds or something. So uh, we had a lot of opportunities to hit goals. We were just trying to. Mix it up on what we wanted to do, stops, goals, hands, outs, you know what I'm saying? We're just mixing it up to get the defender to compress us so we could go over top. Is there anything schematically that y'all saw that, that made y'all want to go attack the, the, the offense vertically with a bunch of drills? I mean, we're thinking that every game, not just just because the team they have. I mean, we're thinking we're doing that every game. It doesn't matter who the defender is. So. You want to hit two goals, right? You hit two of the four. Say it again? Can you hit two <clears throat> of the four, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. That surprised you at all? Third and one, backed up at your own end, and overtime that they, they call a go ball. No, I'm expected for a go ball any moment, every moment. I mean, that's one of the reasons why they got me. I'm a deep defender, you know, a deep threat. So um, whenever they say going deep, you know, that's something I get happy for. You know what I mean? So that's that's my job. So is it disappointing third and two when you guys are on the edge of field goal range and they just run it up the middle right, right before Evans miss? Looking to be a little more aggressive there? Uh, I would uh, like to be more aggressive, yeah. Could have did like an easy little flat route, you know what I'm saying, just to get the first and cut the chains moving. Um, but, you know, maybe I maybe they seen something different. You know, I'm not the coach, so I'm not saying anything wrong. Did um, Devontae Adams say anything to you after the game? Um, no, I just I went up to him and asked for his jersey because he's one of my idols, of course. Uh, Randall Cobb told me great stuff. Great job. A couple of more guys told me great job. Aaron Jones. Um, so a couple of receivers. Number 13, I don't really know his name. So a couple of a couple of the other guys told me I, was, I did good today. What was it like watching Adams? I mean, I think, I think you guys have done the team, but I didn't think of it. Yeah. Um, one of the best receivers in the league. It's hard to double somebody like that when I mean, he's the best receiver in the league and he just showed why. Um, but the only time I was watching him, I was just trying to watch his releases coming off the ball. Um, he gets so much separation, which makes his route down the field much easier. Did he grant your request? Did he get 
give you the jersey? Uh, I don't have it yet. Okay. <laughs> Did he want yours? Uh, no, I don't know. Good question. Great question. I don't know. I'm going to give it to him anyway. Zach said y'all struggled offensively in that great rest of the first half. What was, what was the case behind that? Yeah, we did have a little struggle. Uh, we was getting pressure back there on Joe. Um, first two drives, um, we just didn't, you know, get the opportunity to get Joe protected enough to make downfield throws, short throws, and stuff like that. You know. He takes that big hit on the scramble. I mean, what, what's going through your mind at that point? I don't know. I told him, don't scare me like that again. <laughs> I told him slide. He needs to start sliding. You think he knows how to slide? Yeah, he did it later in the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows how to slide. He's just hard headed. <laughs> how, how much better do you think, even though you lost the game, this will make you later in the season when you know, you're playing a lot of division leaders and mm -hmm. teams that have Super Bowl aspirations? Um, I think we can go really far with this team. You know what I mean? Um, our defense is playing great ball right now. Honestly, I want to say that because they, you know, they they're keeping us in the game with great teams, you know what I'm saying? Like on the road in Pittsburgh, um, this game. So the defense is, is holding it down for the offense. Um, they're giving us the ball back and opportunities, making plays. And, you know, we just got to capitalize on stuff like that. You know, when we have the ball, we got to take advantage of it, um, put a dagger in them, kill them, and go home happy. Uh, Brian Callahan said that you are a guy that they'd like to get between 10 and 15 targets per game. Today you had 10. Do you expect to get about 10 targets um, per game now in this offense? I don't know how to answer that, honestly, because I'm just trying to play my role. I know I'm a rookie and all. Uh, I'm just trying to play my role and just, you know, make this team go as I go. You know, uh, this team, this is Joe's team. I'm on Joe's back. So I'm just here to play my role, you know, make plays, and, you know, hopefully that's ended up making team win. But I just want to play my role. Jamar, what's it like for you guys on the side to watch? They have a chance to win if they miss. You guys are back in the game. You got a chance. You missed it. Yeah. They get another chance within two minutes, you know, and then in overtime. What's that like for you guys on the side? It's just time to put a dagger on them like that, man. Like mm -hmm. Getting opportunities to, you know, get the ball back and punish them. That's when we got to do it. You know, we got to be disciplined enough to, to not hold, you know what I'm saying, make the catch. Um, fight for extra yards sometimes. Like, when it matters, we got we to gotta know what, what's the dominant distance and, and take care of it. Seems like you guys are far, uh, I mean, it seems like when it gets to be 32, uh, I think you guys got maybe eight, sh eight shots with 33 or, or less than. And that, I mean, is that frustrating to be so close and not able to keep the drive going? Manager, uh, uh, we want to be close like that. You know, being close to the sticks are where you want to, you know, bring out some of your quick game plays and then. You can run, make out run play, but you always want to be close as possible to the stick, just to make it easier on your call. 